Hi, my name is Lindsay Vaughn, and I'm in Dr. York's RC2001 Section 101 Intro to Writing Across the Curriculum, and this is my Assignment 2 Literature Review Reflection video. My controversial topic was direct-to-consumer advertisements of pharmaceuticals. My research question was, should the direct-to-consumer advertisements of pharmaceuticals be implemented into healthcare systems? And my thesis statement stated that direct-to-consumer advertisement of pharmaceuticals is detrimental to healthcare systems and should not be implemented. This review of literature introduced the misrepresentation of drug claims, deterioration of the doctor and patient relationship, drug advertisements without its long-term effects being safely profiled shown, and the lack of drug advertisement regulations all concerning the direct-to-consumer advertisement of pharmaceuticals practice. The information presented concluded that the overemphasis of drug benefits run rampant in advertisements and lead consumers to believe that medications are their best option. This misleads consumers into believing that their dr drugs will be more beneficial to their health issue than is actually claimed and lead them to buy drugs without medical knowledge of if the drug is the best fit for them in reality. The doctor and patient relationship will be tarnished because consumers feel that they make a more informed decision than physicians deem appropriate, and vulnerable patients can neglect more effective care if they believe this therapy will be more beneficial when they see it advertised. This causes consumers to feel that they are more informed than their physicians and mistrust their physician's choice to help them. Additionally, many advertisements are shown to consumers before they are profiled for long-term effects, which puts consumers at a higher risk if they are not told to be aware, nor are they taken off in a timely manner to stop further exploitation of the consumers. It is also explored how many regulatory agencies also increase laxity of pharmaceutical drug claims. In some countries, advertisement regulatory systems could not withstand the degree of regulation needed for the implement implementation of direct-to-consumer advertisement of pharmaceuticals to ensure their consumers are not exploited. This met the RC2001 general education goals by allowing both the synthesis and summarizing of different articles. It also allowed me to look at several different pieces in my discipline and understand how specific literature is written because I had to look through several different sources to find strong eight ones. I got a larger understanding of the APA documentation style and how to appropriately source them within text to avoid plagiarism. I also recognized the writing process and the importance of drafts and planning when several sources need to be incorporated in the writing. I did this by planning out my drafts and making a synthesis matrix. For this piece, I pr struggled most on the APA formatting, including citations. However, I really enjoyed writing this piece because it gave me vital practice on juggling so many sources within a paper, which is essential to scientific writing to ensure that research is credible and understood by others within the field. In conclusion, I learned a great deal about integrating sources together so that they flow in a paper and finding common themes within several resources to put into a paper. I learned a great deal about APA and how to cite several sources at a time within a paper. Thank you.